had. It's Maximus here. This time with a quick review of uh, the Husky four-piece scraper set. Comes in this big old package. Uh, is indeed made in Taiwan. Oil and solvent resistant handles. So hopefully this rubber over molding won't uh, melt down on you. Did I mention they were 10 bucks? Actually a much better deal than that even that $10 three-piece uh, quarter-inch impact extension set because these are th uh, four-piece set of apparently pretty decent scrapers for two dollars and fifty cents a piece and it's pretty logical you get a quarter inch half inch one inch long one inch short scrapers and they're actually fairly decent the long scrapers are actually made a little better than the short scraper the short scraper you can see is stamped although they did do a roll or a little bit of sanding on both sides here to really give you a nice flat blade and that's uh the difference here on the longer ones, as you can see, where they ground this surface uh, entirely. I mean, they do squish it and forge it, but then they grind it for flatness. It's a little bit nicer, so it's kind of odd that the short one's kind of like a slightly different manufacturing process than what was done on these others. But they are certainly pretty decent. If we look at the uh, edges, they did an okay job. Not a perfect job, but for uh, a factory grind on some scrapers, at least you can actually use them out of the packaging. Here's that $5 Pittsburgh scraper set. It's a complete joke. These Huskies for $10, you're getting 10 times the school the tools for twice the price. Much better value. These Pittsburgh are just terrible. They had some of them weren't ground at all. I mean, I'm going to use these as pry bars until they break and just not even worry about them anymore uh, because these Huskies are certainly much better for their intended use. Now, mind you, they aren't perfect. Actually, I'm taking a closer look at these, and, you know, they're not perfect right, right here where they've... Uh, where they do the neck down but overall they're pretty nice i do like the handles they're just a uh, pretty good purchase on them i like that they're comfortable i like that it's easier to use these at various angles because many times you're not just using a scraper uh quite like uh in an overhead or overhand position so i do like that this is actually not silk screen this is a plastic mold with another over mold this is actually triple molded because you have the base handle then you have the white plastic molded into the base handle and then you have a you know it wouldn't be tpu because it's uh oil and solvent resistant it'd be some other kind of plastic over mold which is a little bit nicer so the husky will never wear off on these it'll get dirty but it won't wear off because of course it's actually physically plastic so overall home depot is uh stepping it up at least in some other tools and has some pretty decent prices now of course it's not a snap-on we actually have a snap-on what is this a uh, uh there we go, a CSA 14C. So this is an inch and a half scraper. So I kind of like this set because it's giving me the quarter, half, one. And then with the snap-on, I have a one and a half. And if we look, particularly on the finish of the blade. Now, this is the one-inch one that looks really nice. You can see the snap-on does have a nicer finish. You can see that uh, you just have a little bit deeper of a spatula. And it has a better grind from the factory. What you would expect expect from snap-on you can see that this is a real nice taper there instead of being real sharp overall you know for scrapers they're actually not a bad price from snap-on and i probably would still recommend getting at least one nice actual snap-on scraper so that's what i've done myself here has got this one and then these will complement pretty much all my other scraping needs and i kind of like the little short one and what do you do with scrapers you scrape stuff with them <laughs> not real complicated See how this works on this stuff here. This is actually some stick. I might need some, uh, well, I'm getting some of the paint off there. But it's kind of hard to see in the camera. But what this is showing here while I'm scraping this is that I'm not like on top of both of these edges of stick them. Shows how flat these are. Just because I'm not hitting the paint under it there. I was hitting right here because this is a sheet metal and there'll be a little bit of a bulge right around the corner. But uh, I'm actually pretty surprised by that. So anyway, it's my little review of these Husky scrapers. They're actually surprisingly, uh, they're obviously not a snap-on, but for $2.50 a piece, they are way worth it. As a matter of fact, they completely blow any offering from Harbor Freight just totally out of the water. These are actually surprisingly nice, and I'm uh, pleasantly surprised that they're not made in China. And the fact that... For some reason, Hope Depot is only charging two dollars and fifty or ten dollars for a set of four, making two fifty a piece, and actually having decent handles. Uh, it's almost a no-brainer. 
I was even noticing that there was a nice little detail. We can see on this quarter inch, if we start comparing it to the side profile, we can see that the quarter inch, the really narrow one, the quarter inch is just a little bit thicker, so it's less likely to get bent, and so that's nice attention to detail. So, surprisingly enough, uh, Home Depot's uh, showing that they still want to stay in business, unlike Harbor Freight and Lowe's. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.